What's up guys, Casey here with 3D Print RCRT and sadly there won't be any flight footage today in this video as you can see from that previous video what happened um, but let me explain to you what that was about and what quad I was flying also this little guy right here this is the uh, frame I designed myself, the X10 it's made specially for the new 1020 motors that Banggood are selling and the flight controller I was using on there was the F3 Tiny flight controller with um, beta flight with I think it was the SP Racing F3 Evo uh, software but um, for the most part let me explain to you exactly what happened take a look at these batteries and um, tell me what you see you see that? Let's make sure I get that in frame pretty good. As you can see, this one, oh, I got it turned wrong. This one is, uh, they made the batteries wrong pretty much. That's all. And when I got them last week, I was so hyped to go fly my quad, I just plugged it in and it kind of fried my board. I don't know exactly what it did, but whenever I uh, try to fly with FPV gear or even without my quad just pretty much gets off the ground and goes into the air and when I give it more throttle it just dies it just keeps going up and down up and down until it flips over and phew, dies but um for the most part that was my fault and uh, I don't know why Turnigy would do that because they have a charger that's totally different to the orientation that this battery comes uh, hooked up as but I've been flipping them around slowly and um, you know they've been working I flew them on a different quad and they've been working pretty good um, but for the most part let me explain this build to you guys so these are the 1020 motors these aren't from Banggood I got these last year from a manufacturer in China but they're all pretty much the same um, on here these are 65 millimeter props I cut them down from 75 and they've been working great this frame I designed is a 110 millimeter frame really sturdy has a little bit of room for uh, flexibility and actually in that video my quad actually got pretty high up and fell to the ground and um, the frame is still good the frame is in perfect condition I went for a really nice like sleek looking uh, futuristic design almost you know um, but uh, it's really it's a really nice frame without a battery it weighs 55 grams and with the Turnigy 750 milliamp battery it weighs um, I think it's like 74 74 grams but um and also I just have a, a spectrum DSM 2 receiver right here satellite receiver but let me explain something to you guys real quick with these motors they need batteries that are able to um, discharge very very high so that is why I got a bunch of these Turnigy nanotech batteries because they discharge at 35 to 70 C's this battery also works but this is a 480 milliamp and this goes from 40 to 80 C's but it actually works this works good when I'm not using FPV and if I do use FPV I'll probably get about four minutes of flight time but um I tried this battery out before I got these and fried my board so I don't know exact flight time but I'm just gonna guess hey probably seven minutes that's what I'm gonna guess but um the FPV setup I used was on here it's a 600 TVL camera with a 25 milliwatt uh, video transmitter and just a wire antenna on the top. Show that to you again. All right. But for the most part, it's not hard using these motors. They're strong. They um, you need to have big enough props. So you know if you do plan on flying this on a smaller frame, you're definitely going to use smaller props. But um. They're, I think they're designed for frames at uh, 100 millimeters and bigger, you know, maybe up to say 130 millimeters. Um, they, they draw a lot of current, I must tell you that. And you know, like I said with the battery, you're going to need something really strong 
to push these. I mean, I have a bunch of batteries and these from Venom, the 600 milliamp, these are 30C discharge and they weren't cutting it for me. So, you know, I'm thinking 35 and anything up, you're good. And also, um, 2S batteries. You can use 2S batteries with this setup. And uh, there's actually a kit out there that uh, Banga's selling, I think. I think it's Banga. I'm not too sure. But um, it's called the Tiny... I think it's like 117. And, you know, it comes with a 2S battery and a 1020 motors. You know, a whole FPV setup and everything. It's a nice kit. So if you want to grab that and build it up, that's perfectly fine. If you want to start from the bottom, like I did, go right ahead. But um, I'm really glad that these flight controllers exist. And I ordered another one. Not the tiny. I ordered the regular size F3. Uh, so hopefully that gets in by next week. I can build it up again. And I can get a video out to you guys. But for now, that's my build. I'm going to link... Um, I'm going to have links to all the parts uh, in the description. And also, I'll be doing a frame giveaway on my Instagram page. So... Go ahead and follow 3 dprint underscore rcrt on Instagram so you can know when that giveaway starts. I also start a uh, forum on RC groups, so watch out for that, guys. If you if you want to get into um, if you want to start using these motors and get into flying micros or whatever it may be, you're gonna need a frame, and there's not a lot out there. So hopefully mine will work for you and you guys will have fun flying it and I mean just take a good look at it you know you can set it up however you want I put my receiver on the back here you could put your video transmitter on the back here and you could put your receiver on the top here but I kinda like this setup more you know because if I wanna just take it off and you know hook my board up the nothing's gonna be in the way you know I just pop the receiver out and I can plug uh, plug my board up to beta flight and do whatever configurations I need to do but for the most part um, this frame is really good I will probably have it in a different size actually I designed it in a different size but this was too big but now I'm actually thinking it was probably my battery that wasn't strong enough to uh, power the motors but anyways, guys, I'm going to not keep this video any longer. That's it for today, and hopefully by next week I'll have some fly footage. If this video was helpful to you, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe for more future content. This is Casey with 3D, 3D Print RCRT, and I'm out, guys.